Hi everyone, welcome. Thank you for being here. So I made these simple cute wall hangings using Simply Foam Board and I'm just going to share with you how I did that. All the material I've listed it in the description box below. So just keep watching. The first step is to make the template. So I'm just using these plain papers to help me draw the shapes. I'm tapping them together so I have one long paper and then I use the compass to draw a circle at the bottom of the paper and uh, after that I just traced out um, a drop uh, using a pencil. Then I use scissors to cut out this shape. So this will be the first template that I'm going to use. Um, so after this, I'll just be tracing out onto foam board. This template is what I'll use for all the rest of uh, the drops that I'll be making for this size. Um, so then I used a knife. It has to really be a sharp knife if you really want the edges to be um, sharp and clean. I made three of these big drops and then I used the template once again, drew a smaller circle and just repeated the procedure but with a smaller shape. So this drop is going to be smaller so I just stressed them on foam board once again and I'll be making six pieces for that shape uh, and then I repeated the same procedure for all the other shapes making them smaller. I'm going to be using these two contact papers. I ordered them online and I'll link that in the description box below. Uh, don't mind the folds for the golden paper because my daughter really messed it up but it still works. Um, so I'll just trace out the shapes and cover them in gold and silver. I'm so glad you've joined me here today. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell so that you're updated every time I have a new upload. Thank you guys. So this is the order in which I covered the paper, the gold and then the silver for the smaller pieces. So for the edges, I'll be covering them with these gems that I picked from Walmart and I'll just be lining all of them up. I decided to join the silver small ones onto the bigger ones uh, in this kind of shape and then I'll be lining them all around using uh, gems. And this is the same procedure I'm going to use for all the other shapes as well. For the smaller drops, I'll be using smaller gems. And this is how I'm going to be arranging them. Uh, so I'll just be joining them using these chandelier beads. I ordered these online some time back, so I'll link that in the description box below if you want to get them. I simply used hot glue to join all these drops uh, using these beads. And now I'm going to work on how to hang these pieces. So I use these fire clips and then I use also um, these gems and I'll also be using this pin. So basically I'll be gluing them all together and then the pin will be the one that will go through the wall. These pieces are not heavy at all, so the pins really worked so well.
the last step was for me to remove the protective film from the mirror contact paper so it can shine a little bit more this is so pretty and really simple to make i love the fact that they're light and the gold and the silver really worked so well so i will also be making a second piece with this second project i'm going to be using foam board that i picked from walmart it's a little bit stronger than the one in dollar tree um, so i cut it out into eight pieces I'm also using these small square mirrors. I picked these from the Dollar Tree um, and I'll just be tracing them in the center of these pieces. And then I used the knife to just cut out this middle center piece um, and this is the space for the mirror. And then I'm covering up uh, this shape using uh, mirror reflective paper. I then joined these two uh, boards using hot glue. I cut out foam board strips and these I'll be putting at the edges of uh, this square using hot glue. The length of these strips were different because I just went along with the square. I then covered these strips with the golden contact paper. For the next step, I glued the mirror um, through the center of this piece. Then I glued these gems around the mirror. Um, I picked these gems from Party City, so you, you can easily get them there. One side of the gems is sharp pointed, so I used the flat surface to, to glue them down. And this is what I did for two of these uh, boards uh, and then for the other two I'll be putting uh, this bling wrap. I ordered this online and I'll link that in the description box below if you want to get it. These pieces are so cute and simple to make. Uh, simply use foam board and just make it your own. I really love these projects. If you did love them as well, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share this video as well as subscribe to my channel. I uh, thank you guys for being here and I hope to see you next time. Bye.